The road to economic improvement in Chattanooga has one more stop along Enterprise South. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Chapman. Josh has the night off. Enterprise South is known for its mega businesses, including Amazon and Volkswagen. Well, another company will join them and bring hundreds of jobs for middle class workers. News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell is here now with more. Kelsey. Kim, Plastic Omnium Auto Exteriors announced today that it's building a new $65 million facility across the street from Volkswagen. Today I spoke with Mayor Andy Burke about how this will affect our local economy. One of the most important places that I can spend my time is on bringing business to Chattanooga and growing our economy, especially good middle class jobs. And soon, hundreds of them will be available at Plastic Omnium. The company will join Amazon and Volkswagen along Enterprise South. With its arrival come several additional opportunities. It affects not just this company, but all the ramifications of having more people paying their rent buying uh, lunches, buying things down at the local store. I think this, uh, this announcement grows our middle class. And one business that expects a lot of growth, City Cafe Diner, just down the road. It's a 24-hour restaurant that's used to seeing employees from Enterprise South at all hours of the day. Four, five o'clock in the morning when they're off their shift, they stop by for breakfast on their way home. Jacob Lemus owns the restaurant and says many of the restaurant's visitors are familiar faces. We see a lot of regulars. We see a lot of regulars. The diner offers everything from fresh salad to juicy burgers to endless desserts for anyone with a sweet tooth. It's no wonder many Chattanoogans and travelers along I-75 choose this location for a quick bite to eat. While it's unclear when the new facility will open its doors, Lemus says he's ready. You know, this is going to affect it in the best way by you know, coming to eat here. So that's what we look forward to, you know, to make sure that you know, we want to get them to come here like the other people already do. Now, we don't know when we can expect a finished facility, but we do know there will be at least 184 jobs available at the start of production. We'll learn more at a press conference with officials tomorrow at 9 a.m. We'll let you know what we find out.